Hello and welcome to another video of my channel. Today we're going to talk about two or three things that is actually new to the Path of Exile 3.21. The first thing we're going to talk about a support skill called Momentum. It's really nice. Uh, <clears throat> you stand on a spot, you attack for a second or two, you gain a buff for attack speed, and then you get a buff for movement speed. And it looked like this. That's a fast, short, this is a frenzy, this is a wand and you're going to attack you see this buff over there so it can stack three times and for the fourth hit it will change into swiftness which is movement speed so it plays like this and then you get like this movement speed the second thing is the uh <clears throat> which actually I was struggling with because it's hard to spell, uh, sorry, it's hard to scale, uh, which is trigger summon trigger bots. Actually, I have no idea if it's a fail or really legit. Is it is it like a prank? Is it April Fool done by GGG on us? But literally, it's really hard to find a, a, a way to scale this up. So the whole thing to use it right now, I tried cast while channeling. It didn't actually work that well. Uh, so I'm doing Spell Slinger with it. Uh, actually, map tier 2 have no problem, I guess. And, uh, yeah. So Spell Slinger, Eye of Winter, for example. And then when you fire, uh, they're supposed to have this, uh, uh, which is the, the Spell Slinger thing. You activate it, it reserve all your mana. I don't know how to scale the damage, but the fire the thing is really cool that these bots over there, uh, I have like skitter bot and trigger bot. So you can see once you activate the ascendancy, they are automatically summoned beside you. And all they do is like whenever you trigger a skill, these bots going to fire the skill for you. And the playstyle is more likely to be like this. really nice I mean clearing but you lack of single target so I'm using like uh, hydrosphere still hydrosphere doesn't work with the projectile after the rework I think it's kind of not bad for clearing but it's really hard to like scale it up uh, anybody who's wondering to do the same maybe it's, it's a fun play style, don't get me wrong, I really love it. It's just lack of the damage and lack of the scaling. You're probably going to scale a lot of crit chance, a lot of crit multipliers in order to make this happen. For the passive tree, it's not that much. I'm just taking some crit nodes in here, fire, cold. I'm using uh, Eldritch Battery because it really drains a lot of mana, so I have no choice but to use the Eldritch Battery early on. Um, life nodes and reservation to make the spell slinger uh, less likely to be pain in the ass in terms of <clears throat> the, th the thing that I don't like about this skill is that if if you are like facing an enemy like the skitter bots always behind like if you are in this spot you can see them they're moving fast but they have like small legs right so they move really slow so when you, when you advance okay they less likely to to like do the thing and here, you know, when you go back to another enemy, they're still lacking behind, as you can see them. So if you're trying to be like to do like maneuvers, going left and right, up and down, really going to lack of the presence. So it's better to not use the skitter, uh, trigger bots. You can just literally uh, like make these things, which is the winter <clears throat> high of winter, to spawn from your location. Alright, for the next project, I will simply change the build early on. Probably I'm going to leave this uh, uh, leave this Spell Slinger strategy and probably go cast while channeling. 